And here we have everyone's favorite waifu of the moment right here, the upgraded Supreme Kai of Time. Uh, Y'all already know <laughs> what the deal is. I definitely had to rainbow her though, because not only is she one of the, the finest girls in Dokkan now, she also is incredibly good and incredibly good for two very, very big time category teams. The Patara team, as well as the Realm of God team, she will help out tremendously on both of those teams. She's a support unit that gives an extra crit chance, which is insane. Of course, she can give up to a 40% attack buff, a 40% defensive buff, and she gives key. She is monstrous. Probably my favorite uh, heroes unit overall from all the different hero units that we've had throughout the years on Dokkan. I would say she is my favorite. She's probably the one I'm going to use the most. And of course, I mean, them titties though. <laughs> Alright guys, so sure enough, uh, the brand new Dokkan Fest leader immediately after the heroes banner did indeed include a lot of the heroes units on it, such as the Supreme Opie of Time here. Uh, she's going to work very, very well, I think, on Goku Black's category team, uh, the Time Traveler's team, but really, she's just going to work well on any team she's on. She is a massively powerful support type unit. I, I would say there's a good chance that out of all of the units uh, who sort of were released on that Heroes banner, she might be the most valuable, have the most staying power out of all of them, uh, just from how powerful her abilities are, right? So I, I always talk about this, but I prefer uh, units that give key in their passive, support type units that give key in their passive, to just units that give stats, right? So I actually prefer... Uh, the Supreme Opie of Time here compared to, say, the AGL West Kai. Now, there's a couple differences between them, right? So, uh, Supreme Kai of Time here, she does two key and 20% to attack and defense. She gives an extra 7% chance to crit, and then she has a 70% chance of an extra 20% attack and defense. So, at max, she can give two key, 40% to attack and defense, and a 7% chance to crit. AGL West Kai, uh, she, of course, just gives the 40% uh, to Realm of Gods units, but there's no percent chance, right? So she's very, very good. But in the long run, I probably would actually prefer, again, uh, this uh, Supreme Kai over the AGL West Kai just because of that ability of hers uh, to give key to. Now, I'm also rocking uh, this Super Saiyan Bardock. Uh, I, I think... This Super Saiyan Bardock could be very, very useful on this uh, team right here uh, because he gives uh, key and stats to all allies regardless of if they're super type or extreme type, right? You know, there are a couple of uh, uh, cell units that are good supports for this team as well, but they, of course, uh, you know, only work on extreme type allies. So one thing I'm trying to do right here is uh, I, I have this LR Trunks rotation. I decided, you know, why not? Let's have the two LR Trunkses be a rotation together. Uh, they'll link up pretty well. Uh, well, if I brought like one of the cell type units, uh, they wouldn't really be able to, you know, uh, get that buff uh, from the extreme type cell support units. So that's why I decided to bring the Super Saiyan Bardock. And because of how useful he'll be here, uh, I probably am actually going to end up so yeah, I'm definitely going to rainbow uh, that Super Saiyan Bardock very soon, I think. Uh, another reason I, I kind of like am comfortable uh, rainbowing you know, one, a couple more units uh, is because of the fact that we have another world tournament coming up soon. So as long as your boy grinds hard at that, uh, going for that top 100 spot, you know, we could get some extra orbs and stuff like that. So all right, now the other thing too, uh, so our girl Supreme Kai of Time, we're probably not going to see her uh, super attack right here. Again... More so, I just want to see how much he's able to... 2.5 million, not bad, by LR Trunks. Uh, on this team, with uh, a couple of different units like LR Vegito Blue, this free-to-play AGL LR Trunks, uh, we could, I think, reasonably get him his 18 key super. Uh, I, I think LR Trunks could find a nice little spot here. I don't really use him much on the future team, but that's because I don't use the future team really at all. Uh, the future team is very... <laughs> because future Gohan's not really great, the future Go the that future team really ah uh, yikes. <laughs> so Supreme Kai of Time, yo, she made LR Trunks look good. We are gonna test out her full attack potential. 
uh, on the Realm of Gods team too, so don't worry about that. Um, okay, so... Hmm, I, I wonder if I need to use an item here? Probably not. Uh, one thing to consider though is that our boy, the AGL Metal Cooler, uh, he routinely is able to hit very, very hard. So let me focus on getting rid of the Int one for now. Uh, and then you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal up that EGL one because he really is uh, a nuisance uh, oftentimes. All right, so we're going to get super right out of the gate uh, by the Int one. That's great because he hits very, very hard. Uh, both the Int um, Metal Cooler and the EGL ones, uh, those two hit like atrociously hard. So I, you know, I don't want to have to really mess around with them uh, too, too much. And then, of course, the Int Goku Black here, uh, you know, after super attacking, of course, he's going to be able to uh, work out a lot better with his actual defense. You know, I may actually need to end up using an item here, depending on the way things turn out. That's crazy. Yeah, this this metal cooler stage every once in a while, uh, depending on your rotation, how things go. 19,000? Wow, man. That in Goku Black with his greatly raising defense, like that AGL Metal Cooler. Whoa, that was a lot of damage. Whoa, that AGL Metal Cooler hits ridiculously hard. So for the in Goku Black to tank that the way he did, his defense can be very, very impressive at times. That is one thing uh, to really remember. Now, of course, I am actually, as embarrassing as it is, I do have to use an item here. Uh, we got smacked up pretty good by those metal coolers. Uh, then, ooh, our, mm, nah, okay, okay. So we're not going to get the 18 key super because I'd rather give it, I think, to the Goku Black. Uh, let's have this LR Trunks uh hits i guess the first one whatever it doesn't really matter uh and then we'll have this goku black go ahead and smack the tech metal cooler there so yeah every once in a while this uh part of the stage can get a little annoying uh supreme kai of time one good thing about her is she does have that ceiling ability right so she can be useful for stages like this right here where you know we're going up against you know so many different enemies uh that that's where ceiling units for me really become valuable uh, it, you know, in areas like this. Wow, and they're, they're just all super attacking. Thank you. <laughs> we might actually have to use another item. As embarrassing as it is. Oh, no. <laughs> it's because the uh, SCR Rose plus uh, Int Goku Black rotation, it is good defensively later in the fight because, you know, Int Goku Black is going to be ca uh, cap capable of completely tanking pretty much. But early on in the fight, uh, maybe not so much. So, like, right now, uh, this other Int Goku Black, he is going to completely be 100% A-OK -okay dominating. Um, all right. So, we'll have Rose get rid of you. Uh, the EGL one can super attack again, huh? Uh, no matter. So, we'll have get rid of you, and then we'll actually be able to see our girl, uh, Supreme Kai of Time, go ahead and super attack right here. Now, she's also a good fit. For, like, this Int Goku Black, especially raising that crit chance. Because, you know, of course, Int Goku Black is capable of critting uh, from his passive. The more he gets hit, uh, the more chance he has to crit. Uh, of course, in his potential system, you know, he's able to crit as well. So, you know, she is going to work really well alongside a unit like him. To where, you know, crits will happen uh, much more often, which I do really enjoy. And then, let's see. So, she's coming in just a shade under 500,000. Uh, I do think on the Realm of Gods team... We are going to be able to get her up over a million attack set, I think. Also, the other thing is we're going to get the Rosé transformation. As crazy as that sounds, uh, yeah, we're going to be over 80% HP. And we're going to go ahead and get this transformation, I think, on the next turn. So, this AGL Metal Cooler fight, the first time I went through it, I was just like, oh, wow, okay, this wasn't really that crazy. Like, I, you know, I had LR Cell kind of sweep this whole part of the stage, and I was good. And then, like, as I've run it more and more, it's like, oh, boy, you know, those metal cool, that metal cooler part right there is very, very tough sometimes. And then, yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh, I love that pose! Oh! Oh, what a rotation! Oh, no! Oh! All right, that's, <laughs> yo, this is pretty exciting right here. Yeah, hold on. We might need a little screenshot of that. Hello. <laughs> yeah. 
All right, so what are we looking at here? Look at his defense, 140,000. Jeez. All right, so I think Metal Cooler is probably not going to survive. Because, uh, you know, both of these Int Goku Blacks have 150% attack buff, uh, as well as a 50% chance to crit. Uh, just absolutely ridiculous levels of damage uh, is what they're going to be able to put out. Uh, I really, really, really like this uh, Rosé unit right here. No crits! Okay, but hey, we got the additional. And then, of course, then there is a crit. Actually, Cooler is going to survive, huh? Pretty easily, too. Oh, well. <laughs> I guess I'm just crazy. <laughs> Yo, this... This video centered around Supreme Kai of Time, by the way. Uh, we've got a lot of goofiness going on. <laughs> Uh-oh, Cooler. That activates Big Bad Bosses, my boy. So now this other Rosé is going to be able to hit very, very hard. Thank you. Whoop. Oh, I love... Yo, and super attacks now. It's almost like any unit, that, like any top tier unit that has not released in Dokkan by this point... They now get just huge buffs in like how good their super attack is gonna look, right? Like think about it. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get the Dokkan attack with the Supreme Kai of Time. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, think about like, you know, I don't know, LR Ultra Instinct Goku. Like how amazing his super attack is going to look in this style. Like they really have stepped it up. I would say again, I, I said this before, but. I feel like it was the transforming Goku and Frieza, the 250 million downloads of Dokkan Fest is where they actually upped this up. You know, it's it's only on their final the final super attack of their forms, the blue Goku and golden Frieza, where it's their attack against each other at Baba's Palace. Ever since that one right there, they they you know for these big units, the super attacks have been incredible. Uh, I'd say SDR super boos are a bit lacking, uh, but you know that's just because I, I don't know the SDR super boo he's. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about him some other time. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead and show Supreme Kai of Time on the Realm of Gods team with her best setup. All right, guys. So this is going to be the best rotation for our girl, the Supreme Kai of Time right here. Uh, we have her sandwiched in between AGL West Kai, who gives a 40% attack buff, as well as God Topo also gives a 35% attack buff. Now, I don't know if there's any way to tell, really, if the Supreme Kai of Time, if her the second part of her passive activated, but God Topo almost had a million right here. He also adds a slight attack modifier uh, on super attack, so she'll be able to hit a little bit harder uh, after God Topo supers. And Supreme Kai of Time checks in at 880,000 on this rotation full of support type units. Uh, AGL West Kai Topo, and then, of course, herself. So, that's probably about the best we'll see from her. Now, again, I do love this unit. I probably will be rocking her uh, more often than not, like, when I use the Realm of Gods team, when I use the Patara team. Uh, her ability to give key as well as the stats, I think, is very, very good. Uh, I'm a huge fan of this unit. So, let's go ahead and take a look at her. So, this is Unleashing the Power of Time. Supreme Kai of Time, Power of Time Unleashed. So, like, her form is kind of referred to as Power of Time Unleashed, right? Uh, her leader skill is Super Tech Type Key 3 and HP Attack and Defense 70%, which could be very good for uh, Dokkan Battlefield as a sub-leader skill. Her Super Attack is the Judgment of Time, which does Supreme Damage and Seal Super Attack. Very nice uh, for her to be able to Seal Super Attack. Going to be very good for things like Super Battle Road and Dokkan Battlefield. Uh, her passive skill, Divine Power, is all allies, 2 key, and 20% attack and defense. Uh, then she gives an extra 7% chance to crit to uh, all allies. And then she has a great chance, which is a 70% chance, of giving an additional 20% attack. And then another great chance, or 70% chance, of giving an additional 20% defense to all allies. So... When her passive is fully sort of enabled, uh, she gives two key and 40% to attack and defense, but the, the separate parts can activate. So sometimes she could give 20% attack and 40% defense, or sometimes it'll be 20% attack and defense. You know, she either gives 20 or 40% to both attack and defense, but I do really like the way she's set up. Uh, she's able to uh, help out a lot of units like that. Her links are Master of Magic, Rival Duo, More Than Meets the Eye, Cool Judgment, Telekinesis, and Godly Power. The problem is that, like, Master of Magic, Telekinesis, Cold Judgment, More Than Meets the Eye, even maybe Rival Duo, like, a lot of these links are just not stuff you're gonna 
will I be activating very often? Ma like, telekinesis? No way. Telekinesis, by the way, is enemy defense minus 10%. So, that's a very bad link. Moving on. Master of Magic, 10% attack. Not bad. But really, unless she's linked up with, like, uh, Demigra or Toa, those are really the only two units she probably would be on a team and interact with. Maybe the Tech Supreme Kai, uh, who is a pretty good uh, free-to-play unit. Cold Judgment, not the biggest fan of, you know, just a defense link. Uh, but I think she actually could get that uh, activated with, like, the LR Trunkses. Uh, and then, of course, you know, like, the Int Transforming Goku Black does also have that. So that could be useful for her on the Time Traveler team. Uh, more than meets the eye, I hate it so much because it's only a plus 300 attack link, which really is pointless. Uh, and then Rival Duo is good for LR Goku and Frieza, but, like, you know, she's not on a team with LR Goku and Frieza. So, well, I guess she would be on Super Tech, huh? So, so if you use her on a Super Tech team, uh, that is where it could come in handy. So, okay, 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 that's not bad. That's not bad, then. Uh, her 12 kill multiplier is 130%. Uh, that's probably a reason she was not able to hit a 1 million attack set, even with that full rotation of support type units. And then, of course, she now has three categories. Uh, she is on the Realm of Gods team, where she's going to be very good. Uh, she is on the Patara team, again, where she's going to be very good. And then she, of course, is on the Time Traveler team, where, again, she's very, very good. Uh, I love this unit, like, unconditionally. She is absolutely incredible. She has the biggest cities in the game. There's no negative things to say about her whatsoever. She's just a fantastic unit. Thanks, y'all, for watching, and I'll catch y'all next time.